What's up guys, today I'm going to be unboxing and attempting to solve the Chi Gear Cube. So let's get into the package. Okay, so before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you so much to all the people who have subscribed. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, so please help me get there by subscribing. And also, I just want to thank everyone for, look at this, I was getting an average of like 7 views a day, and now I have like 129 a day. So thank you guys so much for all the support it really makes me happy when i can share my content with other people also i've been getting a ton of really nice comments so thank you so much oh also my watch time and hours is just nice anyway with that said back to the video and once again thank you everyone so much wait first more than a professional speed cube it says that right there i don't believe you at all chi anyway let's open this up Okay, we have a pamphlet that shows you how to solve it. Because I'm going to be trying to solve it without a tutorial. I don't need this. Okay, now it's gone. Anyway, this is the cube. It's like a 3x3, three three, except it's bigger. And normally, if you just turn an outer layer like this, just as that. But if you turn this one, the middle layer turns because of these gears. So you can't turn the outer layer 90 degrees because it won't turn then. You have to turn 180 degrees, and then you can turn which is the equivalent of doing only double moves on a Rubik's Cube. Also, by the way, this is an X-Man Tornado V2M. It's from Chi. It's a really great cube, so go buy it if you want a good cube. Anyway, this isn't the point of the video. This is just a reference cube in case I need it. Okay, so let's scramble this. This doesn't even look like a 3x3 three three anymore. Oh, by the way, it is a 3x3. Three three. It's like this. It's 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, same as this. So, anyway, let's continue scrambling. Oh, we turned back into a cube. That's cool. Okay, I think this is good. I'm not sure where to start. I think I'm going to start by trying to make a layer. So, these are the corners. So, uh, what? Oh, look at that. That's literally an uh, almost full layer. Except these two are in the wrong place. And these gears are rotated. So I went off camera for a little bit and found these gears can be rotated just by doing this a bunch. So see, now they're rotated differently. So if I just keep doing this, they're upside down. I guess I'll just keep them like that. I need to get this here and this here. So I'm going to try doing an algorithm from 3x3. Three three. So now I have them in the top layer so I can just turn them and put them back. Yes, that worked. They're in the right places now. And then I can solve the gears. Uh, almost there. Oh, they're flipped again. Whatever. Now I have to do that with these two because they're in the wrong place, so. There we go. Everything's flipped, but it looks correct. Wait. Yellow's completely done. Except all the gears are flipped. So wait a second. Can I just unflip all the gears? No, they're all twisted. I have no idea how to fix... The gears the way they are right now oh there's some my problem is now i just have all these gears that are upside down so i'm gonna try some algorithms that just intuitive ones i think could work so i'll come back in a second so i was just thinking about it and i think i found something that'll work so if i turn this twice it brings this gear up to here and then if i do that bring it back it's not flipped anymore and then i just have to restore these corners back like that. That didn't work at all. Uh, okay, I'll be back when I've brought it back to that state. I'm just doing what I did before because I had already figured out that step. There we go. Now I'm back to where all the gears are just annoyingly flipped. If I okay, yep, here we go. So test number two. If I bring this up, no, this one up. It goes here, and then I put it in the back, bring it back down to put it in the front. That should have flipped it. So now if I fix it, did that fix it? No, it didn't. What? I have no idea what just happened, but... Uh... Okay, that... I'm just confused. How did that work? I don't know. I'm not confident I can solve it 100% now, 
but I'm going to get my 3x3 three three for reference and I'm going to do a time solve. I want to see if I can get under two minutes. I don't even know if I'll be able to do it though because I feel like that was insanely lucky. Anyway, let me get my timer. Timer, 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 where are you? Got my timer. Better turn it on. Now I'll just be putting that to the side. I might need his reference, but let me scramble this. Oh, these take a while to scramble because I'm not used to them. I can't believe I figured this out though. It's kind of similar to a 3x3. Three three, and since I have tried scrambling a 3x3 three three with only double moves, I kind of figured out algorithms there so I can kind of apply them to this, but it's a bit different. So let's try this. So white, oh yeah, I need to time it. So white corners, it's easy. Oh, I already, what? No way. I'm already at this stage where I have all the gears in place and I have no flip gears. What? Huh? No, this can't be. Why did I do that? I was so close. What? That would have been like a 25 and I went for under two minutes. You know what? That doesn't count. I'm going to do it again. I did stop the timer early because I thought that was the last time, but whatever. Guys, I'm stuck. I actually don't know what to do. I'm just going to have to scramble it again and hope to get lucky. That's like a cool pattern, actually. Um, yep, I don't need cool patterns. I need a solved cube. You know what? Let me speed this up. After years of struggling. You know what? I've given up on this. I'm just going to do a resolve. Okay, so after that DNF, let me try again. I have it scrambled. Timer. Oh my gosh, this is so This is going to be so lucky. If I get if I get the skip, I could do this. Oh, yes. Oh no, they're upside down. What do I do? Oh, it's this case. I remember this. Yes! Oh my gosh, that, like, that was so lucky, but it's also really hard. Because there's a case that I got, and I had to pretty much re-scramble, because, like, I don't know how to do it. So, I'm gonna just get a tutorial to learn the last part, but I think that concludes this video. I did manage to solve it in 27 seconds, like, lucky. Yes, definitely. And yeah, this is a really fun puzzle. It actually turns quite well. Not as well as the X-Men Tornado V2M, though. Great cube, you should go buy it. Okay, this isn't an ad for the X-Men Tornado V2M, I just think it's really good. Anyway, yeah, this is a really fun puzzle. It says a bunch of random stuff on the white pieces. I wish that didn't have that, but whatever. And yeah, if you want a challenge, it's kind of like a 3x3, but not, then I think you'd enjoy this cube. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy, but I don't know how you wouldn't enjoy this, me struggling for a long time to solve this, and subscribe if you want to see more cubing content. Anyway, with that said, bye, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Peace. Of cake.